Yeah, this is the Grant Fisher that I think Grant Fisher has finally arrived. When he came out of high school, he was, you know, that that phenom, the uh, broke four. But when he went to Stanford, he was super like held back and conservative with his training or th- with his racing and under Milt's mm-hmm. leadership. So like he never went all in on a 5K to try to see how fast he could truly go. I mean, even right. in his first 5K, he called himself still a 1500 meter runner. And throughout his entire four years at, in college, he raced not, he didn't race often. He never really mm-hmm. time trialed. He just got the top 48 mark in the West and then, you know, went on to try to win a national title. He had early success his sophomore year, but even he never really showed, he never had like a Morgan McDonald type dominance or a Cheserek. And even his first year out of college, he kind of just became another guy. He didn't be, he wasn't like, oh, watch out, Grant Fisher, like top three threat. But yeah, but now him running a 1302, not an all with a strong close to a mm-hmm. 1302, shows like one, he's running an elite time with a strong close. He is now like, in the peak of this is what we thought you could do come when you are 18, 19 year old. And we finally have it. And I think Grant Fisher, he's young still. I mean, he's still young. I'm not sure how old he is. He's what, 23, 24? I'm not sure the exact mm-hmm. age, but he's still young. And I think the sky's the limit for this guy. I think he's, this is a mark that says you're going to win multiple national titles and you're going to flirt with the American record in the next Whoa. Th- throughout the next five years. I mean, hundred percent. Whoa. Wow. Based on his, what his talent level is, he is now really yeah. honing in on his talent. Like this isn't going to be a one hit wonder. This is just a start. Like he's going to run. Okay. 1250 multiple times. Like he's going to break 13 right. at least three times in the next two years.